Welcome everyone to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On this week's show, the subject is Atlantic salmon. Hard fighting and acrobatic is why many fishermen travel from around the world on an annual basis to fish for this much sought after species. We'll talk about the flies, the equipment, and line control techniques. It promises to be a great show, so stay with us, we'll be right back. On this week's show, the new fly fisher crew is in Newfoundland, just outside of Cornerbrook. Our host for this week is Ray Humber, owner of Newfound Outfitting. Newfound Outfitting is a drive to destination and is situated between the Lewis Hills and the Blow Me Down Mountains on the Serpentine River, which runs down a 20 kilometer stretch of wilderness to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. From June until October, the principal runs of salmon enter the rivers to seek out shallow, rapid areas where spawning gravel is available. Their capacity to return back to the same stream where they were hatched has captivated and mystified biologists for hundreds of years. Salmon are among the most beautiful of fish, streamlined, silver, and graceful. They're very powerful and among the greatest fighters in the fishing world. We got him. Yes, sir. You got Not him. bad. You got him. Yes, I got him. Better get him on the reel. Oh, and he let go. <laughs> That's not bad. I've been here approximately 10 minutes at the most. First fish on, green machine, swinging it just like a wet fly. This is exciting. Woohoo! You know, Ray, he hit, oh, fish on, fish on. Hey, 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 took it on the water. He took it underwater, he did so, yeah. This is gonna jump. Get ready, Barry. This is not gonna let me get it on the reel, which sometimes can be a problem. This is usually, oh, and he let go again. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want the audience to know this. The first fish I got was approximately three minutes ago. I swung the fly on the second drift, and I was about to say to my guide, Ray, that I was a little bit late on that first one. And the fish hit, and I didn't even see it hit. It hit underneath the water this time. Uh, we try to, what we want to do is get the wet fly up near the top so it makes some sort of disturbance. In the, in the water, and for some reason these fish, it aggravates them, and that's when they hit. Well, this one had gone underneath, and it was right on the dangle, which I didn't expect it. So I was about to say to Ray, I was a little late, and he hit and bang, oh, I had this fish. So hopefully we take a few more here. This, we found a pot of fish, they're active, it's early in the year, this is Ray's first week, so the fish are in fresh, they've not seen any flies, so this ought to be good. The equipment when coming to Newfoundland is simple. Number seven and number eight weight rods. The lines, you're only allowed one line and that's a floating line. You cannot use any kind of sinking line, sink tip or anything like that. Leaders, the same length as the rod. In this case, I got a 10 foot number seven, so I got a, a 10 foot leader with it. Now the reels, there's the working part that you want. Large arbor. Atlantic salmon are very powerful and they go for long runs, but then they turn around and come right back at you. 
so you need the ability to take up line fast. Smooth drags, now that's utmost importance because they go for their long runs. If your drag isn't smooth, you're gonna break tippets. So if you're gonna put any money at all, put it into your reel. But that, in a nutshell, is all you need. Number seven and number eight wave rods, floating lines, regular size leaders. Well, we got various uh, different kinds of wildlife. We've got, uh, of course, moose, which were introduced in 1904. We've got indigenous species of woodland caribou that are common around this area. We've got lots of black bear. When small game, we got uh, otters, beaver, uh, mink. We've got birds of prey, such as eagles, uh, that's great bald eagles, offspray, and great horned owls, which are very prevalent around the river, especially in mid-season and when the weather temperature warms up. got a nick in my fly line. This could be a problem later on. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to change out lines. I'll change reels and so uh, further on in the show you're going to see that I have an orange line. But uh, whenever you run into that, don't play with it because you're going to get a big fish on, it's going to let go there and you're going to have the biggest disappointment of your life. Want to put that again? That's twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 40 years I fished. I still that just gets me going, gets the blood boiling. My goodness. One more try. I'm, okay. In this little conversation, 30, 45 seconds. Give him again. That was the first cast after the first time he came up. So, yep. see if he'll take it this time. He wants it. Okay. He wants it. There we go. <laughs> But, <laughs> man, oh man, I like it when you see them. <laughs> That's a nice bright filled fish though. Yep. And I think I'm gonna have to leave him, I'm gonna lead him to you, Ray. Okay, I'll... Now try to be at your side there, Winnie. I'll lead him down to you. Good man. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. I, it's, I thought it was oh, smaller that's a nice than that. Grill. That's a nice grill. Now, this guy's got lots of spunk left in him. Can you see lice on him? Right there, no? Yes, sir. We're going to see lice on him in the back. Point to him again, Ray, so people can see him right there. Nice so that tells you it's a fresh run fish. So even with the low water, fish are still coming through. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now tell me that isn't a fresh fish. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, I just love it when you see them like that. We, we spotted them when we were moving the boat down, and Ray says, there's fish right there. We've got to try them. They're, they're takeable. And as soon as we got in their wheelhouse, bam, bam, you've seen on camera how many times that they come up for it. Now, with the problem that we had, I had an extra loop from the wind in my bad casting that went around, around the fly again. That's why I kept pulling out of its mouth. So I think those fish, those other fish are still active. That wasn't the same fish. No. That was closer to the to the wood pile, so. Yeah. We're not even down to the fish. No, well, no. I've seen there, so. No, uh, these are a little farther down. Oh boy, I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to start again. I think we'll try it again, eh? We'll try that again, yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna recheck my knot. Every time, recheck your knot. A good supply of flies to bring with you to Newfoundland would be bombers in various colors, buck bugs, Green Machines, Green Highlanders, Blue Charms, and Silver Tips. 
Well, the first fish I caught, hooked up on, was about 20 pounds. And when it came out of the water the first time, I was like freaking out. It was tail wagging and it was doing its thing. And uh, I had no idea, being, that, being my first fish, if this is good or bad. Unbelievable, the line went tight. Fish ran at me hard, reeled in, just tried to keep him on the line, and he got down into some stumps and eventually broke off. But my heart was pounding, man. It was just unbelievable. Thrill of my life. Now, right now, I have a wind, and it's quite a steady wind coming downstream on me this way. If I cast on my normal right-hand side, it's going to hit me in the back of the head. So all I have to do, it's a very simple uh, solution to this problem, is to cast on this side of my body. And all I have to do is make sure the tip of the rod is on this side of my body. I don't have to be right over like this. All I do is raise up and that way, and the wind will blow it away from me. This is a good safety tip. Uh, I've, I've had the pleasure of having a salmon hook in my face. It's not fun, you don't want it. So cast on the downwind side of your body. Boy, I just got a hit. <laughs> right by that stick, right there. There we go, fish on. You took a run under the water. Took it under the water, which is unusual. Oh, he's good flash on, another, another gross, I think. I think it's another gross, yeah. You look some good too, bro. I did, yeah. Yeah, it's another gross. Well, they don't jump so much when it's shallow, right? Eh? No, they don't. I'm surprised. Usually grills do jump, but this guy staying right down. It's shallow, eh? Yeah. So in this in this case, the blue charm sort of died off, so we decided to change flies and put on a green Highlander. Now we didn't hitch this one to, to fish it deep first. And this fish was down for it. He took it good. He's got it, he's got it right down in. Nice, very nice. Oh, now he decides to jump. <laughs> Take it and hit my on there. Yep, there we go. <laughs> he's, he's fine though. Okay. Now, nice grills. Green Highlander, swinging it in the current. Now, I'm gonna get him down and get him. I've, I've had the privilege to fish around the world in many camps, and uh, my takeaway from Newfound Outfitting is basically three things. First is the beauty and tranquility of the Serpentine Valley. It's uh, like a place uh, very hard to find anywhere else in the world. Uh, next is the challenge of uh, catching Atlantic salmon. It's a very rewarding experience. And lastly, it's the the Newfoundlander hospitality offered by Ray and Cindy Humber is second to none. I would uh, recommend this place to anyone and I will be back. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's a way to go. That's a way to go. Yes, sir. Now he's moving upstream fast. He's going to jump. He's going to jump. Well, that's a nice fish. It's good fish, yeah. Feels like it. Shaking his head hard. Shaking his head hard. That's on the green machine. 
And we'll show that fly later on in the fly situation. It's a good ah, fish. Yes, nice sir. Fish. It's a good fish. Looks like an eight to ten pounder. Looks like it, yeah. Could be a second season fish, an official salmon, but we'll see when we get it closer. In the pool there, so. And that was just like a little bulge in the water I seen, oh, and yeah. I set the hook. That's right. Well, that's, a, uh, that's, a, oh, that's yeah. an official salmon, yeah, I, would, yeah, I would salmon. say. Should I work my way down? Yeah, work your way down and get him in the pool. Yeah, we'll get him in the pool down here. Oh, yeah, yes, this yeah. is a good fish. That's a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Good start. Too, eh? <laughs> oh. This river has real quality fish. That's the one thing I've noticed about it. Anything I've seen has been quite large. They're thick and chunky, yeah? Thick and chunky, yeah. Now we're barbless, so I gotta keep a tight line on them. No matter what, I gotta keep a tight line. Oh, yes, sir. Man, nice yes, sir. I just got knuckle dusted on that too. That hurt. <laughs> right away. Oh, and he let go. No oh, way. Oh, wow. What can I say? Fish won that time. Fish won that time, sir. Well, we'll see if we can get another one. Oh, man. He just, he just nailed me on the knuckle. <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just uh, when you fish barbless, this happens. There's nothing you can do. I don't think I did anything wrong. He just let go. And he, you know, it wasn't a hard take, so he probably no, never just... no, he probably wasn't a hard take, so I, he didn't take it down deep. Probably right on the outside of the mouth. Yeah, uh, it's good. Got some good jumps out of him. You anyway. did. You <laughs> did. Uh, when it comes to food, we we try to serve Newfoundland cuisine. Uh, we have a lot from turkey dinners uh, down to fresh cod fillet, pan fried cod fillet. We have prime rib steaks. Triple A beef. Uh, we tr we serve the utmost of uh, the best in food. It's a it's a, a full meal deal. A person needs to book a year in advance. Now, with that being said, you can also call ahead. We may have a cancellation that to come up at last minute, and we can fit you in. The technique I'm using is, is just a, a quarter down and swing across. And all that means is instead of casting right out this way, I'm casting a quarter down, quarters down, and just letting the line swing. And the fish, when it hits, it virtually hooks itself. Although you still do set the hook, it hooks itself because it grabs it and turns and, and, and moves away the opposite direction. And then what you do, you cast out six inches at a time, just six inches. Next cast, cast it out, down, let it swing. Six inches at a time till you get a comfortable amount of line that you can cast. Now I'm talking comfortable, not long line. Comfortable amount that you know you can cast and be accurate with it. Then you take one step down and then you cast again. And what you're doing is you're taking apart the whole run six inches at a time. Now you go through there with one fly, and if you take a fish, that's great. But you make it through there, okay, you come back up to the top of the run again, give it five minutes to rest, change flies, and start over again. Exactly the same thing. Pardon me? Never seen that many fish in Hopper Jeffries, have you? I've seen three. Whoa. There we go, fish on. I've seen three, three good yeah. ones too. Yeah. Right, yes, sir. Blue Charm. Blue Charm does it again. Another grills. Another grills. Exactly the place we thought it was going, going to be. There's a deep run in there, and the fish seem to be holding. Oh, nice leap. I was waiting for that. Another one, yeah, this is a decent fish. It's a grills. It's, it's, it's not... Uh, not a full salmon there. And when I say full salmon, I mean a second season, uh, second time it's spawned. Grills are the first year they spawn. I'll eat them to you. 
Oh, in style. Look at that. Just as the, the <laughs> just as my fly popped out of its mouth, my goodness. Good catch, my friend. <laughs> All right, look at that, look at that. That's a lovely fish, lovely fish. Here he goes. And away he goes. Awesome. That was great, Ray. That was great. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, what what a blast. This is one of the more beautiful places I've been to in my life. Uh, we've had some tough conditions, haven't we? Oh, we've had uh, um, the worst. It's not I've an easy seen. thing, but it's worth it when you do catch a fish. I highly recommend you come and see Cindy and Ray at, at Newfound Outfitters in Newfoundland for one of the best trips you're ever going to have in your life. For more information on this show and others in our series, Join us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time.